Ooh. Legends. But this time, Venom. I had to wear a Spider-Man shirt because this is actually a big toy. I had this sitting around for a few weeks. I was going to do it with my buddy, um, but I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait anymore. But like I said, I had to wear a small Spider-Man. Big toy. Little bitty spider. So, you know, so, sorry, it's kind of big on me. But, all right, good shirt. I like it. Picked it up at uh, GameStop. I think it was on sale for like seven ninety seven or something like that. So, but anyways, always check out your local GameStops. There's, well, they don't have much stuff anymore unless they're building back up. So every time I go in there, it's always, oh, we don't have this, or because of this going on, or the virus stuff. Man. But anyways, we're not here to talk about toy hauls or toy shopping or anything like that. What I do want to talk about though is this Venom toy. So uh, Marvel Legends has been going on for a while now and usually they have all these big build a figure stuff or whatever and what I'm seeing in here is there is actually a build a figure. So this is actual solid version of Venom. Cool. So I'm going to use these handy dandy scissors. And, oh, right there. Tape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real quick, guys. Sorry. There's the back of it. Let's see anything in there. Eddie Brock takes vengeance on his skeptics as the all consuming, spine chilling symbiote. Venom. Eddie Brock. Uh, Spanish. Sorry, guys. I don't do Spanish. All right. Oh, and a bunch of different languages, too. You guys probably pause that and look at it. Anyways, so... This is for ages four and up. Honestly, collector. No, no, no. So I'm going to try to be as gentle as I can with this one. Because this one's got a safe place to go to. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Maybe just peel it off. I don't need tape. Tape. I need scissors. Alright. So I'm doing here is put this on here. Oh, no. I'm using scissors. Too much work. You know, I got a lot of work ahead of me. So, alright, guys. Flap on the side. Check. That has some cool artwork, though. Look at that. Would you look at that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this box is nice, too. You notice a lot of these toys are coming out now. They're not just shoving plastic everywhere. It's actually like, hey, even this top right here, where it hangs at, this, yeah, the Venom Spider-Man logo right there with a the little purple around it. Got purple back here. Got the artwork on the side. Guys, it's beautiful. All right, guys. So, okay. So... And you can open it from both sides. Obviously, I chose one. The left side. Because I don't always do the right thing. It slides out real smooth. It has a little backdrop on it. I'm going to pull that off, obviously. Oh, that's, oh that's, that's pretty. Look, more purple. That is cool. Well, I'm going to stick him back in there. Pretend I never pulled it out. Do, 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 do. Obviously, instructions back in there. Alright, so okay, obviously this is part of a Build-A-Figure. So, there is a big, big version of Venom out there somewhere. This is part of the Build-A-Figure. This is obviously his, what, back? You got the symbiote coming up here. Boom. Plugs into the chest. Have yourself a big-ass Venom. So, no, this ain't. Maybe that's why I came with instructions. That's why I like doing this kind of stuff, guys. It makes you think. So, okay. Oh, this is the big Venom. It's not a bit build figure. Oh, hold on. Ignore those first parts, guys. All right, I don't want to break these. Back together. Check. Okay. All right. Venom. Huge 
Very huge. Look at those claws. That mouth, though, right there. He can do a 360 with that joker right there. The tongue's all twirling out of there. His mouth doesn't open and close, but it's rubbery right there. So, you can't really close it, though. But it's shaped to, it's molded to a open. But that tongue, I wish he had some green venom in there. That's just so cool, though. His eyes, look, he looks ticked off. So, all right. So, let's see, wrist moves, check. Let's check out his arm. Oh, clicks. So, posable. It can stay, check. He can go up, that's high. He can go, check, boom. And his wrist can rotate. Or his wrist, his bicep. Cool, okay. And of course, you got a little bit of the symbiote coming out. It reminds me like he's getting shot by like a, a laser or something. I don't know. All right, now let's check out. He can do a 360. Oh, thank God. He can't do the splits. See? That's pretty cool, though. But he's very poseable still. He is supposed to be a Spider-Man version, but a brute of him. So, okay. So, let's see. Top leg can move. Let's see how his kneeling does. More clicking, but quieter. Like he's walking towards you. His feet, no bendable stuff, but has slow range of motion here. Cool. Okay. But his foot can do a 360. Why do you need to do a 360? I don't know. Whatever. I don't know where they come up with this stuff. All right. Let me pose him up a little bit. Like he's going to do something. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, remember this part? Remember I was like, oh, it's a Build-A-Figure. I was wrong, guys. Yes, I will admit I was wrong. But look there. Now look here. The back of them. Yes. Let's complete them. He clicks right. He clicks in. More symbiote stuff coming up. Like It feels like he's just pissed off or something. Like he's going after something. His head looks like can actually, well, I don't know. Yep. Oh man. I can make, oh hold on. Make him like he's running at you. So his head can go up and down too. You gotta be very careful. There's this, or back here. See right there? Ooh, that's scary, guys. Like he's jumping at you. Ooh. This is a really cool toy, guys. This guy, actually, I think I waited for a while. Like I said, I had him for a while. He was um, GameStop, actually. I think I got him from GameStop because I brought up GameStop earlier. Um, he actually, I, I was on a waiting list for this guy and he came in I had him for a while, but I was going to do a, uh, a thing with a fellow YouTuber, which I'll bring him up. His name's Mike. He, he does a gaming's room. He also did a gamer's adventure. I think if I'm wrong, correct me down at the bottom, but I think tomorrow, not hundred percent sure yet. I think I'm doing an interview with him tomorrow. So the interview number two, technically, um, like in the toy room. So kind of excited for that. So he's probably going to be like, you should have waited on me for the Venom toy. Sorry, bud. Some things just have to happen. And this happened. But this is Venom, Eddie Brock. And the movie is going to be exciting. I cannot wait to see Eddie Brock. Take on Cletus or Cletus Cletus Cassidy. That is Carnage in the movies. Who's played by Will Harrison or I don't know if I said his name right. So this is gonna be cool. But he looks pissed. I love it. So, but I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, like this video, and uh, remember you can never go wrong with toys. And oh, you can always be a Spider-Man fan. Or an Avenger. To me, he's like an Avenger. He's like a he's a lethal protector. Yeah, he listens to the rules a little bit. Yep, bad person, eat him. It's not really like that guy's in the comics. He's 
he made a mutual thing with Spider-Man. It says, you stay out of my way, I'll stay out of your way then. How about that? But of course, they always clash a lot. So even though he's kind of a anti-hero in a way, so that's why a lot of people like him. I guess why people like Deadpool, but Deadpool is a little different. He's too... He always used to be my old personality in a way, so, but... Now... Now you got Venom. Alright guys, until next time, kitties.